Hello all, for today's video it will be on HTML smuggling, a very common technique used for initial access in order to deliver a payload to your victim. HTML smuggling is not new and it is already widely documented. Basically, it uses HTML5 and JavaScript to embed a payload in a HTML file and subsequently, when the HTML file is opened on the victim's browser, JavaScript will be used to decode the payload and download it onto your victim's computer. This is very useful in bypassing web filter proxy systems which are usually deployed in an organization. When you download a suspicious file format such as .exe files, it will usually get blocked or it will trigger an alert and investigation from the blue team. With HTML smuggling, only the HTML file will be seen over the wire on the network. HTML files are generally okay because it represents a typical web browsing activity for the end users. This technique is very nicely explained with examples and diagrams shown on this reference here by Outflank. As mentioned, HTML smuggling is already widely adopted by malicious threat actors. There are many public references and articles documenting it. All of the references shown and used in the video will be provided in the video's description, so be sure to check them all out. The HTML smuggling technique is also documented in the MITRE attack webpage as shown over here. With that being said, let's get started with some hands-on demonstration. Over here on this GitHub page, there is the HTML and JavaScript code provided, which is taken from the outflank reference. We will need to replace the base64 encoded binary data to our own payload. Before we copy the code over, let's prepare the payload first on our Kali machine. Over here, we have a C++ source code that basically just displays a message box. We will compile it and use this as our payload for the demonstration purpose. Alright, now let's transfer the payload to our windows and make sure that it works first. This looks good. Now let's clean it up and get started on the HTML smuggling demonstration. Let's copy the GitHub code and create a test.html file on our Kali machine. We will need to remove the base64 encoded binary data from the source code first. Now let's perform base64 encoding on our payload pop.exe file. Copy the base64 encoded binary data and paste it into the HTML source code. The HTML file as of now is quite empty. Let's add in some sample text. In reality, you should really beautify the HTML page with appropriate text, CSS and images to make it look more legitimate and enticing. Over here, the JavaScript will trigger the download immediately. Let's set a 3 seconds delay with JavaScript before the download happens. Alright, this should work. Let's transfer the HTML file over to our Windows machine. Now let's click on the HTML file. A browser should open up the HTML file by default. As expected, after a slight delay, the download was triggered by the JavaScript function and our payload file is downloaded onto our victim's Windows computer. Awesome! This is basically how HTML smuggling works. By using HTML5 and JavaScript, the payload file is not visible over the wire on the network and it will basically bypass web filter proxy systems since only the HTML file is visible over the wire on the network. Next example on how to smuggle zip files with HTML. It is basically more or less the same, so it should be pretty straightforward for you all to pick it up. Let's create an additional text file for the zip payload package demonstration. We should then zip up the readme text file as well as our pop.exe payload file. Let's name it package.zip. Once our zip package file has been created, we will need to again perform base64 encoding on it. Copy the base64 encoded data and paste it into our HTML source code. Let's remember to change the file name as well to package.zip. Alright, this should work now. Let's transfer the test HTML file to our Windows machine. Double click on the test HTML file.
package.zip is now downloaded onto our victim's Windows computer. If we unzip the package, we can see our text file and the pop.exe payload. Alright, that is all to this video about HTML smuggling. I hope you all have found the video to be interesting and useful. Again, all references shown will be in the video's description. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.